Gabby here with Core 4x4. I have this JL Jeep Wrangler and we're gonna be installing and upgrading tie rods and a drag link. Just for reference, I'm 5'10 and this is the tie rod that we're going to be replacing. We ended up bending the OEM one, doing some testing up at American Fork Canyon. Uh, this is made of 70-75 aluminum, so it's gonna be lighter and we'll be able to bend back into shape if we do bend it a little bit out on the rocks. And of course, an orange drag link to match. Before we get started, we're gonna go ahead and put the Jeep on jack stands for safety. So for the OEM parts that we're going to be taking off, we're going to be taking off this dampener first, then the tie rod, and then the drag link. Once we remove all those parts, then we can get installed in the new ones. So you'll just need a couple sockets and a wrench or two to really get these parts off. On the ends for both the drag link and the tie rod, they're going to be 21 millimeter sockets. For the dampener, you're going to need an 18, both a wrench and a socket because there's a nut back here that's going to be a little bit difficult to get to. Yeah. Perfect! Well, you just look at that. Tools are good at their jobs. And don't leave your things. That's a good design. So to get this first pitman arm, we're gonna need a 21 millimeter box wrench. Can't really get a socket up there, just FYI. Ow. Ooh. Got it though. So this one was really hard to get out. We ended up bringing the torch out. So the puzzle is the steering dampener, which also comes with new hardware because the OEM bracket on the old tie rod will not fit. So core 4x4 supplies a new bracket. Before we get the steering dampener installed, we need to torque everything to spec. So it's going to be 75 foot pounds for all four of the ends that we just installed. So the reason why we have to set everything to spec is because the steering has to be tight. So that way when we adjust the dampener, it's close enough so that we can drive it safely to the alignment shop. Once everything is torqued on to spec and your alignment is close for you can safely drive it on the road to get it to the alignment shop, take the steering wheel and turn it all the way to the driver's side or to the left. Then you're going to want to take the steering dampener and collapse it all the way, right? All the way. You're gonna to wanna to back it out at about an eighth of an inch and then install. 
while the steering wheel and the knuckles are turned all the way to the driver's side or to the left. Perfect, so as you can see, everything is beautifully installed. I didn't need any help. The alignment isn't perfect, but it's safe enough to be driven to the alignment shop and they will be able to give it a perfect alignment. Uh, I will say that the this is a one-up orange. They did custom powder coating to have it match the color of the Wrangler, which is an option that Core 4x4 offers. It's good to go. We're gonna put on some wheels and tires. Thanks for tuning in. Comment, like, and subscribe.